Hello, friends and fellow adventurers. Uh oh, I like that. We just we changed clothes and Napopo appeared. Oh, yes, we have to inform Akaji about the pirates. Lishio, Mr. Akio, Rigati. Alert, if you're there, it's time to attack. Quick, I hope they heard. Let's go to the door, Napopo. Those Elots. Open the door to the guardians. Okay. Well, you know. So that's on our. Okay, first, first things first here. First things first. Like, you know, I know it's a big emergency for you to get things done. However, um, yeah, I, I wanted to be wearing a better uh, outfit because I, I like my pirate shirt. So, you know, so the what the heck is that? So the pigs are all sleeping. Oh, wow. Okay. I went to go to bed and then this happened. I, what is this? Oh my gosh. This is bananas. This is, yeah. Wow. What are you doing here? This is the kid I told you about. I see. My name is Von Ern Bolgost. I am the Baron of the High Lineage of Deva. Lady Shen has told me the island is yours. Is that true? Yes. I think it is now obvious that it is not like that anymore. This island now belongs to the Elots in my trust. It contains a powerful source of energy. I'm afraid you have to move away. We can compensate you economically, of course, for the inconvenience. I'm not interested, thanks. If you want to accept by fair means, they will turn foul. Napopo, release her. I thought I had already finished with all of these annoying creatures. I see there's still one left. Yes, Baron? And you, kid, you can run away now or we will make you disappear. I don't see any other options here. This is my island and I will protect it from people like you. This stubbornness of yours is unfathomable. We are the progress. We are the future. You can't stop us. I've traveled for years to reach this place. Don't you dare step forward. I won't allow it. Who are you? Why are you here? I am Kala, the guardian of my island. Guardian? You are a cheeky kid. You are a nuisance. On every planet I meet, foolish people like you. You're nobody. You're nothing. You're just dust in the wind. If you defy Mara, you will be dust. It doesn't matter what you say. I will devour this place. As we have already done on many occasions, I will continue doing so on behalf of the glory of Alots. This ocean of yours is only a resource, and you are wasting it. Mara is a living place. It belongs to everyone. We owe everything to it. I'm going to destroy you. Are you listening? And when I'm done with you, I'll devastate your island and all the islands in this ocean. There will be nobody left that remembers you or the people that lived here before. Only a great purple stain will remain, devoid of memories. Mara won't let you. Shut up. Shut up for good. Baron, it's all right. You cannot destroy an ocean for pure selfishness. I will do whatever I want, kid. Think, destroy them. CB 152-74-80. Finish her. CB, I, I can't. What's happening? Have you all gone crazy? Fink. Do it. Obey. I'm sorry, Lady Shen. Baron. Koa, run to the door. Uh-oh. We gotta activate. Fink, destroy this worker. No, CB. Run. Open the door, Koa. Take it as a gift. Oh, boy. And away we go. Oh, and here's what we find behind the door. A f was this a floating creature? The Baron grabs the tendril, turns it red. Koa looks determined. She's going to fight him. And he's gone. Hmm. Koa looks tired. You need to eat an apple, Koa. And then the pirates attack. Akaji uses her rocket launcher on the, the drilling rig. Well, it looks like Yaya Haku. 
visiting in ghost form. And there we are. Now, I'm wondering, is was that kind of talk with Napopo to get the next mission? <laughs> huh. That was really interesting. That that felt like a, a kind of conclusion. Um, you almost get the sense that uh, that is sort of the main part of the narrative. We've saved the island, I guess. That's really interesting. Okay, Napopo, what's going on? No, no, Popo's drawn the, the, uh, she's drawn the rocks. No, Popo, do you want to live with me forever? I have spoken with Mara. It has asked me to be its guardian. I have accepted. But with one requirement of my own, it won't hold me to this island. That's it. We will travel across the ocean to take care of Mara. I must know every part of it. Come on, I'm sure there's something to harvest. And if not, we can plant some watermelons. Do you feel, you feel like some? Yes, they are really tasty and so cool. I think we can make ice pops. We just need ice. Hmm. Yes, I think that's a good idea. Come on, Napopo. Today's a nice summer day. <laughs> we gotta go make some watermelon ice pops. Alright, let's go do it. Watermelon ice pops for Napopo. And the pigs probably want some carrots. There we are. Have some have some carrots, piggies. No, no, no. No, close. Sorry, you all have to live here. It's just the way it is. I'm sorry, my little, my feathered friends. I don't have anything. All right. Uh, we'll gather these sunflowers as we go inside. There we are. I'm gonna grab these oranges over here, and then we'll go inside and we'll make this pop for her. Okay. Let's make some watermelon pop. All right. Let's see. Napopo, coming for you with a watermelon pop. It's going to be delish. There you go. What do we do now? Oh, Napopo wants a house. Who could design one for us? Perhaps Dunna. Let's go and ask her. Ask Dunna if she can design a house for Napopo. Okay, I'm wondering if it's now going... Oh, I wonder if that's where... We need to put uh, Napopo's house is over here, maybe. Is that why we couldn't just build our house wherever, or the greenhouse wherever we wanted to? Let's see, will it let me build it now? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm perplexed with that one. So for some reason, I, I still can't quite build the greenhouse. Okay, well, you know what I want to do? Let's go under the mine here and just double check on that because uh, we're all right over by it. But I wanted to see, I built the uh, extra ex the kegs. I want to see what I was still missing. I'm sure I'm still missing something. We need one fireworks. <laughs> okay. I can probably build that. Let's go back up and see if we can do that. Take these uh, ores with us. Okay. Let's go home and build ourselves some fireworks. And I see another orange. Oh, there's some apples. Ah, I'm going to leave it. I've got lots of apples. I've got so many apples. I have no idea how many I have of anything. Like, a lot? Oh, there are 45. That's it? No, I thought I had more than that. Okay, let's see now if we can make, uh... Oh, the firework needs two barrels. But I still feel like I'm... I think I had like seven. So... I might have enough. Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. I'm curious. I gotta go over and look at the other thing as well. Okay, let's go do this. Let's go check out whether or not we can actually make this little mine thing happen. It feels weird uh, continuing on with any of the little things to do once we, we finished off that, like, getting rid of the baddies. Okay, there we go. We can build this. Well, that's exciting. 
Oh, what is in here? Oh my gosh, look at all this. It seems as far as I can go. What? Oh yeah. So we can get the, the good stuff down here. Which is fantastic, because I needed some of this to make the good shovel. Oh my goodness. There we go, we got like... 11 chunks or something. We got all this gold. This is pretty good. Um, oh, I've got to make another... Um, okay, let's... Let's go over and eat some food. Alright, we'll get a few more pieces of ore. And then we'll head back up to the house. Alright, we got lots of stuff. Let's get back up. So that's cool. We've got now the ability to get all kinds of stuff down here. I was wondering, I thought it might be access to more like coal and things like that, but still, it's exciting. Okay, let's head back over towards the, uh, the entrance, because I'm kind of curious now if this does anything. I'm guessing no, but yeah, who knows. Okay, fill up our tank. No, it doesn't do anything at this point. Huh. Sorry, little mouse. Oh, hey, mouse. I might... Oh, no, I don't. I thought I maybe had some cheese. I might even have to make some cheese. That's what I've got to do. Poor little mouse. Little mouse is like, dude, I need the cheese. I love it, though. we got a goose. we got some chickies. There's so many good animals here. Uh, let's go now. Okay, I can, can I make the four bars? Now I can make a couple. That's fine. Okay, and let's go to the kitchen and let's make another watermelon pop. Okay, so... Take care of Mara. Um... Oh, we got... That's right, we gotta go ask Donna. Okay. Oh good, fast travel works again. That's nice. Okay, let's go and uh, see what we can do here. So yeah, I'm glad we, we got enough of, uh, we had enough of everything. Uh, I forgot, Donna also sold uh, bananas, didn't she? Yeah, she sold bananas. Okay, and the we buy some of Raw Strange Metal, sure. I think we're good for it. Anything else we... Oh, we can buy some cheese for our, our little fishy. Okay. Donna, can I ask you something? Sure thing. I want to build a house. Not very big. It's for a friend that lives on my beach. Could you make the blueprints? Hmm, I think so. Great. I need paper and ink. I think I have an idea about how to do it. Okay, let's go out here. Can we make the ink? We should be able to. Um... There we go. So th that's good, we got the squid. Glad we got that recently. I brought some ink and paper. Good, give me a moment. That's it? Yes, I was inspired by the seashores of Mara. Do you like it? Yes, and I think my friend will too. I'll need some rare materials. It will look really good. Okay. We gotta go build Napopo's house. I like it. Napopo's gonna like it, I think. And... No, right, we can't pilfer her garden. I kind of like that. That's like the one thing we can't pilfer. Um, okay, let's fast travel home. Let's get out of here and let's see what we can do about building Napopo's house. Where can we put this thing? Hey, Napopo. I'm wondering now, is, is this going to indicate that this is a thing we can do? Or is it, this is still... Oh, okay. I, if I'm in the middle of it, it allows me to build it. Oh my gosh. What a goofball. Well, that's very nice. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh, this is nice. We can plant all the flowers. We'll plant Yaya's flowers. 
Okay, I guess we'll plant a blue orchid. Oh my goodness. That looks lovely. And we'll plant the ice rose. And what else do we have? One other one. What else? Do we, I guess we'll plant the mutant flower. Very nice. That looks really good. Cool. Okay, so we've got that spot prepared. Now, where is Napopo's house going to go? This is what I'm wondering. Is it going to be something back here? Oh, hey, I got you some cheese. Little critter. Nope. Okay, so, I don't know. Let's go up top here. Now I gotta go around. <laughs> Me and my impatient. These squirrels are like, we need the food. Uh, no, this is not gonna be where I build the Pobo's house. Huh. So, is the Pobo, am I gonna get pushed off the land? Is this the deal? Napobo's like, you know, I got a, I got a great place I'd like to live. So if you could move that heap that you call a house, uh, build. There we are. Napobo's house. Yeah, you cannot build this structure on a fixed place on your home island. We have the ingredients. Um. Yeah, Napopo's house isn't a thing we can just build here. So where the heck does Napopo want to go? Is Napopo like want to live in the water? Oh my gosh. I will lose my mind if I can't figure out where Napopo wants to be. Does Napopo want to be in that like little distant island? What is this over here? It's right here. <laughs> ah, I'm glad we found it. Do you like it? Oh, it's tiny. This way you have your own little home. I don't think it's that it's like the one you had before, but it's really beautiful. Oh, poor Napopo. That's a tiny little house. What does Napopo have out front there? A shell. That is super cute. I think Napopo likes it. Wow. All right, and then uh, we're just working on taking care of Napopo. Uh, all the different things on the island here. Let's talk to Napopo about the next thing. What else we got to do? Mm. Now that I look at you, you're just like Neo and Now. Yes, you're like siblings. That gives me an idea. Do you want to add more statues around the island? Nice, I'll do that. Okay, build a Napopo statue on Koa's island. Well, where would we want to do that? I feel like I would probably build it right here if I could. Um. Yeah. There we go. Look, it turned out really lovely. I'm going to fill the island with statues. That way we can always have company and we won't feel alone. That's a nice idea. Then we'll build maybe something up here by the entrance. They're like little guardians. Hmm. Let's see. There we go. Where else would we? Yeah, I think one in front of the caves might be nice. Guess we gotta remember we gotta plant something. Plant on a flat terrain. So let's see. Is this flat enough? Uh. Oh, there we go. It, we had it. We had it there. I like it. How many do I have to build? I don't know if it matters, even. Okay. So we're just... we're just... oh, we gotta talk to Ed again. <laughs> okay. You know what? Oh, well, that we can't do that till next time. I think that's... Uh, that's looking pretty good. Maybe... We'll put one more over here in front of our little uh, greenhouse. 
Um, there we go. How many do I have? And I'm out of pearls. Okay, so that's all we can do for now. That's fine. Feed the sheepies. All right, everybody's fed? Perfect. All my little trees are growing. The seagulls... I don't know, a seag seagull might be stealing cacao. I don't know, for sure. Okay, I think what we want to do is... Um, talk to Napobo again. All right, so let's head over to the island. Let's go to Kalis. Now, we can't see Ed again right now, so I think we'll just what we'll do is we'll sleep in the boat real quickly here. Um... And then we'll continue on here. Because I feel like we're we're essentially we're at the end point here. So I don't I doubt I have uh, even a whole other episode. We'll see. But I my guess is um, just dealing with uh, the last little bits and bi bits and bobs here aren't going to take a terrible amount of time for us to do. Uh, let's go this way. I, yeah, it's funny. I forgot that we actually do have the doggo on the island. I keep forgetting to, I think, feed the dog. <laughs> I'm terrible. Terrible pet owner. Now, Ed, did Ed again open at 9 or 10? I don't remember. He had weird hours. Mm. Kid, is it true that your grandmother's Haku? Yes, how did you know that? News travels fast in this town. If you're directly related to Haku, then you owe me a lot of money. Pardon? Your grandmother asked me for a loan some years ago in order to buy a boat. It must be that old thing in which you travel. I don't know how it would cost so much money. It really is beautiful. Don't be a smarty pants. It's all right. However, I wanted to inform you that you have an outstanding loan with this institution. Why? Your grandmother signed a contract that says she and a lot of her heirs are responsible for the debt. Whether immediate or distant relatives, they have to take care of it. And in this case, that's you. I don't want to push you. You can pay a bit at a time, but you have to pay or we have to seize your assets and estate. Well, that's too bad. What? <laughs> oh my gosh, really? I've got to pay this debt? That's... Bananas. Hey dog, I'm I'm officially like broke. <laughs> hey Onzo, what do you want to buy? Do you want to buy uh let's say bud, I've got uh I'll say some sunflowers. Cause I, I've got to pay off some money here. Uh, I can sell you some pumpkins. I got, you definitely I'll give you a good price for them. Uh-huh. And what else do I have? Oh I've got a watermelon pop, they're good. Uh, I've got a couple of these fruits. Let's see here. That's the main stuff. All right, you're you're good. So we just got like a whole pile. Um, let's see. Okay, you want to buy uh, some truffles off me? Good price. They call me the Truffle King. Okay, well the, we've sold all those. Okay, we can sell we can sell off a bunch of stuff now. We don't need all these cork planks. There we go. What else are we gonna get rid of? We can sell off a few nails. Yeah, because I'm not gonna be building that many more things. Um alright, we'll sell that. And what do you want to buy? You want this fajita? It's good. I got a snapper. I got a flounder, I got an eel, I got a couple of swordfishes. I got a giant manta ray, an angelfish. Okay. So we're at 4,000. <laughs> you can make pretty good cash here. Oh no, I don't want to sell that actually. I was trying to get the achievement of having uh, uh, a bunch of the... Uh, the things in our um, inventory. Okay, lemons. Look at she's buying lemons. I got tons of tomatoes. So I got like 600 bucks in tomatoes for sure. We're like, everyone's like, oh my gosh, everything must go. I don't know that I have enough to sell to 10 grand. That's the thing. <laughs> it is interesting though, by by having as much stuff as we've been doing here, um, through the course of the game, we do have like a ridiculous amount of stuff. And I'm sure crafting would actually be more in my interest uh, than not, 
for selling things as well. So I probably will have to get back and try and do a whole pile of like crafting of stuff. But for the moment, we'll just uh, we'll keep going like this. Because we can sell off like a kind of a stupid amount of stuff here. I mean, I'm going to have like, I don't know, three grand worth of vegetables we'll sell right now. At least. I mean, I think we could probably empty our inventory and uh, pull off a fair amount. Okay, and we've got the beads. Let's sell those. Okay. Um, so we made another... We're at 7,000. <laughs> Let's sell some potatoes. Let's sell a bunch of these. Okay. There we go. Let's sell some peppers. Alright, and we got... Oh, yeah, peas. <laughs> we'll sell a bunch of these. Sell like another thousand. It is interesting. It's it's as though like it encourages you to do this almost. I don't know. How much do we we got another? We're at seventy eight hundred. That's not too shabby. Uh, what else did you buy, Onzo? I forget. Okay. We'll sell that other. <laughs> now let's go check it out. We'll go see what everyone else wants. Can we do this in like one day? I feel like we probably could. Okay, he's gonna buy my mushroom soups from me. Um, he'll pay a good dollar for some of those. Oh, I've already been selling those. Okay, we're at 8,300. Let's go down here. We'll check out what we can sell here. And then we can always go and try to like craft more things. What does he want? He'll buy cotton uh, for a good price. Oh, he'll buy ice for a really good price. There we go. We'll sell a bunch of ice. Sell the sardines for 40 apiece. Oh, he'll buy wheat at a really nice price too. Milk? He'll totally... He's going to buy all these raw ingredients we've been saving up here. Perfect. We're at 9,300. Um, hmm. I think he, um, Hanzo was buying these watermelon pops for a pretty good price, weren't they? I wish you could actually select to build more than one at a time here, but that's all right. That we'll we'll live with the limitations. Okay, we'll make some fried eggs. Oh hey, oh we can make a little bit more ice. Make another fajita. Yeah, these things sold for a decent amount. Some grilled fish. And, I don't know, some cheese. Our mouse would be appalled. The mouse would be like, dude. The stuff. Don't sell all the stuff. We can make pizza. Oh, we can make a salad. And, oh, well, we can make another watermelon ice pop. Done. Um, ooh, look at that. Strawberries with chocolate. That's pretty sweet. Mushroom soup. Okay, we'll make, oh, uh, we'll make fish soup now. Nobody better ask for anything specific, because I'm going to be super unable to do that. It's interesting. I'm guessing... I, I, I don't know what uh, the idea is. I'm wondering if it's like... If you hadn't played the... I'm guessing ten... Like, most people could easily empty their inventory and make this amount. Okay, let's sell some... Um... Hey, bud. Okay. 
Let's sell him some cotton still. Because I can always buy it. If we need stuff for crafting, we can just buy it, right? Like, it's not, uh... Um... Okay, I'll sell you my mushroom soup. Sell you the salad. Sell you one of my orange jams. We're at 9,600. Not a problem. Let's get back up here. We'll sell these these other uh, ice treats and stuff. We'll sell some things over here again. What else do we have? We got the... He wanted the fajitas previously, didn't he? No? Oh, we're almost there. We got like 300 more. Okay, let's go see Onzo, because Onzo was good. Onzo, we got stuff to sell, bud. Alright, we're going to sell this fish soup to you. All of it. Everything must go, and all the watermelon pops. And there we go, we're at 10,000. <clears> we're broke. <laughs> but let's go, and uh, pay off Ed again. He's going to be shocked as all get out. This is all of it, right? Yeah, I think so. Why did my grandma never repay her debt? Who knows? This was the worst negotiation ever. I will never again deal with little girls or old ladies. Now I can't even deal with Ellis anymore. Mara's definitely going under. 10,000 coins. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is, I think, it. I like I can't even actually scroll down now. I think we need to go home. Let's see what else we need to go and do here. Let's go see Napopo. I think we might be uh, through a bunch of our tasks. We'll see. Hey, Napopo. Why is Napopo looking all, like, pensive? Okay. So what else do we need to take care of? Uh, we built your house. Can I, like, there's nothing else I can do to it, right? I can't upgrade it. We can't make it look any more fancy. Nope. I think the island is looking pretty amazing. I built a lot of trees, buddy. <laughs> So yeah, there was a ch an achievement for 100 oranges. I was going to try and do that, but I don't know how long that's going to take. We've got a lot of orange trees, but it still takes forever. I mean, but then, you know, here they are. There's three more. So I'm wondering what other things I have to plant. Yeah, I guess, I, I mean, you get like five oranges here, five oranges there. Okay, good. We got the queen bee stuff. Another acorn. Okay, so what else do we... Oh, wow, that's it. We don't have much in the way of seeds. Yeah, that's... Uh, we're running low. <laughs> I think that's the... Uh... Okay, we can harvest the, the peas now. That's pretty amazing, though, that we're able to dump like 10k worth of uh, resources that easily. It says a lot how quickly you can kind of get through everything. Okay, we can make some more strange metal bars. Now, was that enough to... No, I need one more. One more to make the metal shovel. And I'm going to need to get some more seeds so I can feed the animals. That would be the next thing because uh, we're definitely we're running low. Is there anything I can do to interact with these? No? Okay, I thought maybe I could light it on fire or give it an offering of some kind. Human sacrifice. Okay, let's pop in the mine. I'm confused as to what day it was. Like, it, I'm honestly, it's all mushing in my head. Did we? Okay, so we did get the stuff here. So there's no more strange metal here. Okay, let's eat some food here, if we have anything left. <laughs> yeah, we got... I like that. Essential sleeping well outdoors. I always forget that we had those, and that that was a thing. Totally forget that was a thing. Now we could, uh... We, I guess we could go see Dunna to build the good shovel. 
Anyway, it's interesting. I, I like I like the idea that the game is basically run its course, but yet there's still like a really nice um, kind of a. It's it is an interesting. You still feel like kind of spending time here, although you're kind of done with tasks. You can kind of run the island and get it to the state that you want it. Um, but I like that the flexibility on the island allows you to do it in a way where you you still like although the game runs not doesn't really run on rails but it runs there's like a it's you know pretty straight path as to what we have to do on the island and yet at the same time I still felt like uh, I feel the island is very much mine and is we can kind of adjust it as we see fit oh I'm, I'm now out of stuff okay Give the dog something. Like the island, yeah, it does seem, it doesn't seem inhospitable. It doesn't seem totally, it seems like we have definitely made it ours. So that you definitely develop an attachment to the island. And things, it all kind of becomes very homey. Which is, it's really cool. Now, um... Yeah, so we're still waiting. We still don't have the... We need one more strange metal bar. And what else did we need to make? I think we made most of this stuff. Um, I could have sold the soap. <laughs> oh, that's how we make this the vegetable oil. Hmm. Because it's interesting. Yeah, it's I, I would have been making more uh, of the resources. Yeah, cooking here is definitely far more um, easier. Let's make some. Let's make some things. Fry it up. Now I'm using. I won't even be able to tell what fish. Uh, because I will have used them all up. How many of these can I make? Coconut cocktails. We got two of them. I don't want to... Okay, I'll make uh, noodles. Yeah. Wow. Well, uh, no, the blackberry juice. How many can I make? I can make a couple. Sure. And uh, pumpkin pie. Look at that. Oh. Looking good. And I think... Oh, there we go. We can make, like, Kayla-style sushi. <laughs> And there's like one other thing, maybe. Oh, we've made the fish soup. Okay. That's like all we can make, because we've totally gutted out all that. Now, like you can hear the chickies. They're like, please, please, sir. That was a pile of stuff we just made. All right, now, uh, what did you eat over here, Mr. Duck? Oh, okay. Something I don't have. We've got some more seeds we can put down. Beautiful. All right, I think what I might do, I might just crash again, and we'll go see if Napopo wants anything else. And then we'll, we'll go from there. I think, again, I, I have a funny feeling we're kind of... Napopo's going to be like, yay, you're done. Or else this is just an ever-open quest, and this isn't actually... There's no real conclusion. Take care of no Mara. I think that's kind of it. I think that's now um, our our only job, and I think it leaves it kind of as an open thing. Um, I yeah, I don't see that there's anything else that we need to do specifically. So I think that's going to be kind of where we call it a day. I've had a really great time with this game. I think it did a great job of uh, just being a, a complete world. Um, the fetch questing, you know, the only thing I would say that I didn't care for about it was the uh, amount of time you spend running from one side of the island to the other on Kalis. Um, that was perhaps the only thing I found was a, got to be a bit tedious. But outside of that, I, I really like the, the way that the story and the quest structure um, knitted together really nicely. It was a good story. I, it was well done. Uh, and the world is, it feels complete. It does feel like they really uh, built a, a whole little universe unto itself. And I think that comes through really well. So even with any foibles that it might have, it's, it's still its own wonderful little world. 
I said, I think they, yeah, they did. They pulled it off really nicely. It was well done. And it does, it's like, you know, there's the odd glitch, but like, it's, it's a really nice game. Like, it plays well. Everything's really good about it. Um, let's, uh, let's exit there and we'll take a look as, as we like to do at the end of things. Let's see here. Can we, uh, let's, let's, let's just roll the credits. I think everybody here did, uh, yeah, they did so much work and, uh, it was a good experience. It, I think it reminded me of, um, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm trying to remember now. Oh, uh, there's so many, there's actually not a lot of games of this type that I think, um, I, I feel like succeed at being a complete little world, that it's its own entity and, and very unique experience. And it was interesting at the ending where they, they bring the conclusion as an animated thing. It, it did have the feeling like almost, it was like, hey, this could be an animated series. Like it has a feel of, uh, of, of almost being like a show, which I think they did a nice job of that. Um, yeah, okay, so voice actors, I, I kind of, because I have headphones on, and because if there was anything, I turned it off. Not sure how all that was. But yeah, I think it, uh, I, again, there's some stuff that I'm sure was, like, you know, cultural uh, in-jokes or cultural commentary. That's lost on me. But I think the whole overall message of the game is completely universal and, and relevant. And uh, I, I think... Yeah, it, it's, it's nice. It was a game I think that works for all ages. And other than, you know, the, like I said, some of the running back and forth would get a little tiring. I think that doesn't negate from the overall experience of the game. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what this, uh, this crew of people comes up with next. If they're going to still be working on stuff, I have no idea what the idea would be. It is fun playing games that have uh, definitive endpoints. It's a little, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it, it's sometimes I, it, the games end and then you're like, okay, are we, are we done? Or are we still going here? Like with this one, I was thinking, oh, there must be something specific you have to do. And then it's almost like it's, you've been freed. <laughs> you've been released from fetch questing. You're done. <laughs> These are very cute little animations. That's quite darling. That pig is terrifying. Although it looks rather, uh, Chill. I think the the whole story of having um, Koa grow up and become a, a kind of a mature person and become responsible for the island that's a great narrative. And I I do think you get a feel like the the whole character arc works really well. Uh, it the, I think the tie in with the pirates and having these kind of um, areas where she's forced to prove her maturity and her ability uh that those were good stories those worked quite well it's i it would be a hard thing i can't even fathom how you tie like make a story like this or a kind of thing like this and bring it all together so little old uh, ar uh archival photos of them in the navy of uh sami and yaya haku yeah it's really cool um again i don't know uh, yeah what uh what other stories this comes from but the uh it's a very cool little world there's a lot more people i think i'm so as i i wasn't even reading the credits here i was looking at all the illustrations i'm guessing this is some of the people that were involved in the uh, by judging by the names this is people who are involved in uh helping kickstarter it or help back it and uh oh wow we can we can speed it up all right we'll speed up a bit because that's so many names but i'm glad everybody did support it and bring it out as a game very cool. Oh my gosh, the sailors! <laughs> I see these must be all the uh, the different levels. This was this was not a game that hit my radar. I, in fact, Kickstarter's rarely. I I I. There's a few there, that I've um, backed over the years. I don't tend to, just because of the there's so much right in front of my face that I don't even see all the other stuff that's out there. There's so many things. Uh, I don't know that it's it's still. Yeah, if it's still a huge way of funding games or not, it must be. Oh my goodness, that is an incredible number of people. <laughs> Good for them. 
So I don't know what, um, I, yeah, like I said, I'm done with this. I'm done here. Uh, I don't know if it's a world I'm going to come back to. I do feel like I had a very complete experience. Uh, it'd be, I guess it'd be fun to noodle around in, but I, I often don't, it's, I find it hard to spend too much time in a world. Uh, once, once I get to the end of the narrative and the story's played itself out, uh, without any kind of impetus to really do things, I, other than like say, I guess in the, you know, they give you the idea that you've got to save all this money. So it kind of, that's a cute way of doing things. I think if you played the game thoroughly, you probably saved the 10k easy. <laughs> Or you've, like, you know, banked, uh, like we had, a massive amount of inventory. It's pretty hard to play the game without having a ridiculous amount of inventory. Especially with all the stuff you kind of get for free out in the ocean. Uh, all of that, it just all adds up. I guess you could just mainline this game for plot and then at the end be like, oh, I guess we got to grow some crops now. I don't even see how you would do that. Well, at any rate, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut out now because I see all even the graphics and everything have all looped around. And uh, anyway, I had a great time playing this. I hope you enjoyed the series, and we will see you all next time. Till then, bye-bye.